From a secret location in room 100 of 540 Jack Gibbs Boulevard, this is Craft. I'm your host, Doug Dangler. I am here at Columbus Comic Con with the great Lou Ferrigno. What I'd like to do is talk to you a little bit about um, some of your background and some of the stuff that you're doing now. So sure. I noticed that you have a new thing out with um, a Star Trek uh, fan uh, video. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's the episode called Star Trek Continue, the one of the best web series. I played the slave trader named Damahan from another planet because the match is written on the series. And I just got back from London about a week and a half ago. I filmed a great uh, action film. I was the only lead in American, a uh, British film. It called Instant Death. It's about a guy in the Special Forces. His family's harmed and then he seeks revenge. So it's interesting to see the stuff you've never seen me done before, fight scenes, the emotional, the depth. So I'm really excited about that. And tell me about, um, you know, going from being so heavily involved in a lot of bodybuilding to as you're getting older, what are your suggestions for keeping in, you know, this incredible physique that you've got going? Well, it's all about consistency because I've been consistent for 52 years. Whenever I travel, I make an effort to work out. I watch what I eat because I'm so passionate about it. That's the whole key. If you're passionate about something, you never lose that enthusiasm. So for me, it's because... It made my life who, who I am today. That's why I'm happy to still be part of it, even though so many years later, because now show business embraces good physique and uh, like all these actors, you want to be uh, lean and mean. What sort of suggestions do you have for people uh, to get that sort of passion going in their life? What was it maybe that sparked it for you uh, when you were younger and, and you decided this is really what I want to do? Well, it's all about competing with yourself. And as a kid growing up, I had a lot of uh, adversity to overcome, you know, the speech is- is- issue, the hearing issue. So I never wanted to take a second seat to anyone. So I embraced and I loved fitness and power. Because as a kid, I was obsessed with power. So I, that it transformed into my body, which I got involved in fitness and bodybuilding. So that took me on the road to being very uh, disciplined and being very successful because I felt that if I could win bodybuilding titles, there's no reason why there's nothing else I can't do. So it gave me that drive and motivation. So when you come to places like the Comic-Con, what are the ways that you interact with the fans that you say, this is a a really great thing? What keeps you coming back to the Comic-Cons? Well, I enjoy meeting the fans because every time you do a pop culture comic convention, you always meet new fans. You have uh, generations and generations of fans. You have grandparents, you have parents, you have kids, and also a new movie coming out. And, and they have the interesting questions. Also, they get motivated by my physicality. So when I talk to them, they walk away with a smile on their face because as a kid, I didn't have this. So I know it's almost like an instant gratification, like a charge to me because like we live in my childhood and it gets me fired up. And plus, it's, it's a very good living. Okay. And what are, you had mentioned earlier, the movie that's coming out. Uh, remind me of the name of it, please. It's called Instant Death. It's a British film. It'll be out there in the spring of 2016. And you'll be impressed. Okay. And what other projects are on the horizon for you? What can we look forward to seeing from you? Well, I have a big, big contest coming up called the Ferrigno Legacy. We were very successful last year. My family and I, we promoted the bodybuilding competition, NPC, IVB, bodybuilder, fitness, and women's figure. So this year, we're going to have the contest ascent in uh, Palm Spring, November 20th. And we have like 400 competitors. I like to have the Arnold Classic like, on the West Coast. Okay. Well, Lou Ferrigno, I thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you. For more information from my guests, visit www.crafttheshow.com. This is Doug Dangler. Till next time, be creative.